welcome to English at Dawn's house, and I'm sitting here today with my biscuit cushions on my sofa. It's a donut. And I have a very special story for you today, and it's called The Mysterious Mr. Spud. Let's zoom in on that one. One day in the month of March, Farmer Osborne dug some long ditches in his big field with his tractor. There they are. Mr. Spud was in the barn with all his friends. Mr. Spud was very excited. The next day was Tuesday. Farmer Osborne came in his tractor to get Mr. Spud and all his friends from the barn. Farmer Osborne loaded Mr. Spud and all his friends onto the tractor. Then Farmer Osborne drove Mr. Spud and all his friends with the big tractor to the big field where he dug the ditches. Farmer Osborne put Mr. Spud and all his friends into the ditches he dug and covered them with earth. Mr. Spud and his friends were very excited. Then Farmer Osborne drove his tractor back to the barn and went home for lunch. Mmm, fish and chips, said Farmer Osborne, and he sat down to eat. Mr. Spud was in a ditch under the earth with all his friends up in the big field. He was so excited that he made up a rhyme and said it all to himself. Soon all his friends joined in saying the rhyme. This is Mr. Spud's rhyme. We are knobbly and rough and mostly round. We have eyes that can't see and we grow underground. Our skin is quite brown, but inside we're white. We taste yucky raw, but cooked we're all right. You can slice us for chips and fry us in oil, boil us, mash us, or bake us in foil. Sometimes we're big, sometimes we're small. Our skin can be flaky or not flaky at all. We can be old or we can be new. Do you know what we are? Then high five to you. But I wonder what they could be. Two weeks later, Farmer Osborne drove his tractor up to the big field again and looked at the ditches he'd dug. All along the ditches, green plants were growing. They're coming on fine, said Farmer Osborne. Mr. Spud and all his friends under the earth, well, they were really happy. At the start of the month of May, Farmer Osborne drove up to the big field again, but this time he drove a special tractor called a harvester. The harvester drove along the ditches and dug up Mr. Spud and his friends who were waiting under the earth. Mr. Spud and his friends were so excited. First, they were sucked up into a big tube with lots of earth. Then the earth was shaken off and they were rolled into a trailer. It was a bumpy ride, but it was fun. When Farmer Osborne was finished digging up Mr. Spud and his friends, he drove them all back to the barn in his harvester. Mr. Spud was so happy when he saw Farmer Osborne's van parked near the barn. On the side of Farmer Osborne's van in big green letters was written Farmer Osborne's fresh, hmm, something covering it up. 
Mr. Spud sighed to himself. A good job well done, he said. Have you guessed what Mr. Spud and his friends are? Shall I show you? Let's first look under here. It says, Farmer Osborne's fresh potatoes. Yes, they're potatoes. Mr. Spud and all his friends are potatoes. And here's one, I've got one here, look. There's a Mr. Spud, a real one. Did you guess it from Mr. Spud's rhyme? If you did, well done. That's the end of the story of Mr. Spud. But next week, I'll read you another story from my collection. Till then, bye-bye.